Now we're going to be talking about the Extract Surface Tool. That can be found in my Solid Tools menu here, Extract Surface. Now it will do pretty much just like the picture indicates. In other words, if I were to create a box, select, select surfaces to extract. I can pick any surface here. Press Enter when done. Extracted one surface. Nothing appears to have changed, but now I can click and drag. As you can see, I have removed that surface. This works similar to exploding my box, which would also work, except that the rest of the box remains intact. So if you just want to pull one surface off of it, extract surface is the way to go. Now this tool will work with anything that qualifies as a polysurface. A truncated cone, for example, or even two spheres that have been joined with the Boolean Union tool. So again, let's go to our Extract Surface tool, select surfaces. Notice I can select multiple surfaces. And since spheres are actually a single surface, I can select an entire sphere. I've selected these three. We'll press Enter. And let's take a look. As you can see, I've pulled these surfaces off of their original starting places, left the other sphere here with a hole in it, and my truncated cone is now hollow. Both of the ends have been removed. The Extract Surface tool will not work with polygon meshes, but it will work with any solid surface or poly surface.